Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you what Link is in C Sharp. So basically Link is language integrated query. It is a library used in .NET to perform operations on data collections. The most common operations on data collections are filtering, ordering, grouping, joining and projecting. These operations are usually performed using SQL, but using Link is more convenient in .NET. It makes the writing process easier by utilizing IDE hints and allows the queries to be statically typed. There are two syntax options for link, method-based and query-based. Query-based syntax is similar to SQL but and method-based syntax is based on invoking methods. Method-based syntax is most commonly used in real-world scenarios and that's what I'm going to show you now. Let's see how to perform the common data operations with link. Firstly, we need to import the system.link namespace and also the system.collections.generic namespace. Let's start with filtering. So to filter data collection, we use where method. This query will return all people with age set to 25, which are Matt and Tim. If you want to find only one unique person, you can use the method single. It will return the only element of the collection which is meeting the requirements. If none of them meets the requirements, it will throw an exception. If you want to return null, when none of the elements meet the requirements, then use the single or default method. Let's comment that out. And let's go to the ordering. So to order element inside of a collection, we use order by method. It will order it using the default comparer. For H, it will be the compiler for integers, which will order them from, from the least number to the greatest number. You can invert this order by using the order by descending. Now let's go into grouping. To group elements, we use group by method. It will sort the elements into groups based on H. It returns I grouping of integer and person or a collection of I grouping of integer and person, which is a key value set where the age is the key and the collection of person object is the value. So for example, one key would be 25 and the value would be the person object of Matt and the person object of Tim. Let's go into joining. So joining means merging two collections together. We use join method to do this. The first argument is the collection that we want to merge with. The second argument is the key which we are choosing from the first collection. So name. The third argument is the key which we are choosing from the second collection. Also name. And the third argument is a method which takes in matched objects from both collections. So matched person with a matched identifier and then it returns a new object combining the data from both of them. So we are initializing new object which will have three properties. The first one is name and it, we will initialize this with person.name so the value from the person object. The second one is h. We initialize this with person.h a value from the person object and an identifier. So we initialize this with the value from the uh, field ID of the identifier object. So the result will be a collection of, of this new type containing three properties, um, effectively combining data from both collections, uh, which we are matching by the key name and and then also name from the second collection. Let's go into projecting. So projecting 
to project, we use the select method. Projecting means that we are taking every element of a collection, performing an operation on it, and returning modified object. So that way we end up getting a new collection containing modified elements. In this example, we are simply selecting the H property. So we will end up with collection of integers. So we are using collection.select and then we are using the lambda expression to choose the H. And in that way, we will end up with a collection of ages. So 25, 27 and then 25. I hope that this quick introduction to Link has helped you understand the, the concept. I hope that you will be now able to use the most common uh, operations on, on data using link um, and I hope to see you soon.